Unmasking Brain Injury in Minnesota project began with National Geographic, who did a feature on veterans that had sustained concussive blasts in the war. And they asked them to make a mask about their, their experiences with concussive issues. From there, in North Carolina, a day program picked it up, and they had their constituents in their day program make a mask about living with brain injury in their program. That's where Minnesota caught wind of it, and we decided here we needed to see that a step further. So the project has been picked up by several groups, including Essentia and specifically Polinsky Rehab. They utilize this project to help their individuals they serve express their truths, their moments, and help further not only their physical and cognitive rehab, but their emotional rehab through this. This becomes a process that individuals have a cathartic moment or can see themselves or expre express themselves in ways they maybe couldn't otherwise. And places like Polinsky Rehab, this is what they mean when they say they treat the person holistically. This helps not only the physical and the scientific parts of rehabilitation, but the emotional sides of rehabilitation. Awesome, awesome, I'm loving it. That way I can show, show people I look exactly like everyone else. But you, people, like, if you didn't ask me, you would know, like, what would it have to deal with? We all, like, exactly normal. But if you, if you actually see, like, what ha has happened to people, you don't even know the half of it. It was everything. It was everything. I've never sat down with anybody before that had also had a brain injury. And I sat with, um, I used to be a teacher, and I, I couldn't teach anymore. But I sat with two other teachers, and I sat with an accountant, and to listen to them who couldn't do their jobs anymore. And it was just like... Um, very eye-opening, very emotional. Um, it was an amazing experience. It really, I, I can't describe. But yeah, to have, hear every people talking and to be recognized, you know, it's been, it's a good thing. It's been really interesting to see that although everyone has brain injuries that have kind of landed them with the same sort of cluster of symptoms, um, the way that everyone got there is, is really diverse. You know, a lot of different ways that people got injured. Everyone's come from different walks of life, different ages. So it's been good to just uh, see that diversity and, and connect with some of those people on a more personal level. The bright side is how optimistic I am and I'm thankful for what I have. And the, the other side, the blue side, is my frustration and my, and my fear and the parts of my brain that just don't connect anymore. It's incredible. I, some people are so artistic. <laughs> But just learning their stories and, and trying to figure out just from looking at the masks without reading their stories, some of the masks are so uh, incredible that you can tell some, some about their stories without even reading it. And then when you read it and find out exactly what happened, um, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I was very excited when I learned about coming to do the event, and so, you know, I've been looking forward to it. It's actually really hard, like, it's hard to be in a room with a lot of people, it's hard to focus when there's other noises going on, and I really wanted to do it right, like, I wanted to get it, I wanted to do it well. In the end, it was almost like, who cares about my mask? I just met 12 other people who are like me, <laughs> and it was, it was awesome because I wasn't alone. So, so making the mask was just one part, but I was making the mask with everyone else. That was, that was really messy. <laughs>